This week on Taiwan by Number, we're going to be reflecting on the last time that Taiwan dealt with an outbreak of coronavirus. And of course, that is the SARS outbreak of 2003. Now, Leslie and Natalie, were you both here in 2003 for I that outbreak? I was. I was. I was mm -hmm. in school. Okay. I was here at RTI. Oh, yes. Leslie is younger. <laughs> I was here at RTI, too. Now, do you remember this? Does this look familiar to either of you two? I don't remember that. Okay, well, this is my ID from work here at RTI. Oh, I get it. No, you can see it. all the little stickers on there. I kept all the little stickers from each time they checked my temperature uh, when I came into RTI uh, to make sure that we didn't have a fever. They're doing it now, too. And we're doing it once again. I'm also keeping those stickers as a oh, memory wow. of this time. Now, I, I want to start off by showing you some numbers about the coronavirus statistics to give you an idea of where we are at right now in the outbreak. Let's have a look at that. So as you can see, nearly 30,000 people are confirmed to have the virus. Uh, sadly, about um, nearly 600 people have passed away already, and it looks like more than 1,000 people uh, have recovered from the illness, which I think is a bright spot in this. Now, my question for you to start off with is, if we look back at SARS, what was the death toll from SARS back in 2003 around the world? Globally? Oh, Globally. Was it 320? 320. 320 for Nally. Leslie? 350. All right, let's have a look at the answer. Oh, 774. 774. Wow, so, many uh, so I want to kind of now compare SARS and coronavirus. Let's have a look at those statistics right now. Nearly 30,000 cases, uh, confirmed cases for coronavirus. Uh, we have, uh, as I mentioned, nearly 600 deaths. For SARS, 774 deaths. What was the confirmed cases of SARS, just to compare the two? About um, 9,000. 9,000, says Natalie. I'm going to go proportional, 30,000. 30,000. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the answer. 8,096. So about 8,096. Now, I want to caution you against comparing these two viruses in the way that we just compared them. Because of course, these are two very different viruses. Uh, there are a couple things that you have to keep uh, in mind when you're looking at it. First of all, coronavirus spreads much more quickly than SARS did. Also, people are contagious even if they're not showing the symptoms mm. of having the virus. Um, but what's even more important than those two things is the fatality rate. So I want to show you the fatality rate for SARS. Let's have a look at that. So 9.6% fatality rate. What do you think the fatality rate is now for the coronavirus? Uh, this is, of course, an estimate made by scientists. We don't know the exact fatality rate, but what is the estimated fatality rate? 4%. 4%, Natalie? I want to do some quick math. Off of the numbers you just showed me, 1.5%? 1.5%? Okay, let's have a look at the answer. Okay, so we're looking at a roughly 2% fatality rate for the coronavirus. Um, now, this is much lower than for SARS. So that's something that um, maybe can make us feel a little bit better about the situation, considering how quickly it is spreading. The number of people who pass away is much, much lower than it was for SARS. Now, one final thing I want to do uh, is show you this interesting number that I found this week. Um, one of the things we've been using is alcohol spray to disinfect or, or you, know, to pro, you know, to make things cleaner, like our hands, surfaces. This iPad earlier today, I used a little bit of alcohol to wash it off. Now, there are two different types of alcohol that are easy to find on the market. Uh, one is 75%. The other is above 90%. So my question for you is, in terms of uh, killing bugs, uh, viruses, things like that. Which one is stronger, 75% or above 90%? This is a trick question, Natalie. It's got to be a trick Logic question. will tell you 95%. <laughs> but, it's not, but what if Andrew already knew that and he's just playing off of our paranoia? Ah, you know I'm me very gonna well. I'm going to say 97%. You're going to say 90%, Natalie? Yeah. Okay. You can go for the... I'll go for 75%. One, one of us is going to be right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's have a look at the answer. 75%. It is Why indeed is 75%. That's interesting. This is fascinating. So I looked into this, and basically the reason is, is the alcohol will kill the cells too quickly, or it works on the cells too quickly, 
and actually it ends up protecting the cells because it oh works so fast. So water will slow it down, but water penetrates the cells very easily. Um, the other thing about water is, is that it evaporates less quickly. So it has more time to work on the cells ah, and really kill them. So don't buy the other one. Don't buy the other one. Buy the That's 75%. Good to know. That's good to I've know, Andrew. I've been buying Andrew. 95%. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, actually, this is important to know, too. You can actually dilute the 90 or 95%. Oh, just add some water, right? Add some water. Uh, make sure it's around 70, 75%, and you're good to go. All right. All right. Good deal. So that's today's Taiwan by Number.